Mother Edith L. McGrew. I am so honored to be here on today. I certainly bless the house that has already been addressed. YWCC president. There was a young lady that had walked away from the church at an early age because she felt disconnected. Later, through prayer from her mom and her sister, she returned to the church. During that time of her return, her first lady suggested that she join the YWCC. In the YWCC, she learned to love herself, she learned to build a house, and she learned to love and honor her husband and her children. During that time in 1988, the Lord prophesied to this young lady through one of the elders at the church that she would be married. Three months later, she was married. At that time in YWCC, they had a, um, their anniversary, one of our first, I do believe, and it was a grand affair because we were the YWCC and we had to carry the Church of God in Christ. We held them with high standards. During that night, a young lady came to speak with us, and I had been watching this young lady during the four Saturday meetings, but I didn't know who she was. I call her my Maya Angelou because I thought she was Maya Angelou for quite some time being young in the ministry. She walked like her, she talked like her, and I just loved Maya Angelou. This young lady came to be our speaker on that evening, and that evening I found out that that young lady was Mother Edith L. McGrew. All right. <laughs> I loved Mother McGrew at that time. She, um, even though YWCC had taught me a lot at the Temple of Faith, Church of God in Christ, Mother McGrew stepped in right at the point of my life when I had just gotten married. And she took my ministry to another level. She taught me the importance, without even speaking a word, of walking soft and standing on the word of God, real tall. Her character and her integrity went before me, and she showed me the importance of, it wasn't important about pushing and shoving to where you wanted to be, but just waiting on God to come and carry you to where you needed to be. You may ask why Mother Edith L. Maru at this time. You may even ask why me? Why is she here and not me? Well, I came to tell you today is not in your DNA. Mm -hmm. It's not in your destiny nor your assignment. Today we speak of Mother Edith L. Maru because this is her DNA. This is her destiny and her assignment. And we know that Dana don't lie. Mother McGrew, I looked at her and I called her my Titus II virtuous woman because she taught the young as she walked and she taught me well and she gave me the confidence to be who I can be and who I shall be in Christ. So today, Mother, as one of your daughters in Christ, I praise you at the gates and your work speaks highly for you because I am a product of your ministry. Thank you and God bless you.